What's going on, all my fantasy football fans out there? Let's talk about some wide receivers I love week eight. And this is because these guys are really good. And they got some good, good, some great, some favorable matchups week eight. And you're most likely going to start these guys, but you're going to start these guys with so much confidence because the matchups are just favorable. Anytime you see Jets, you get excited, do a little dance, and you start your, your offensive fantasy football players with confidence. Anytime you see a team like Jets, Houston, you just – it's a must, okay? Make sure you hit the like button so you can stay connected with the channel and also subscribe so you can see more great content on fantasy football so you can stay ahead of your competition throughout the season and so you can obviously win your league. Let's get right into it. Let's talk about some of these wide receivers that I love. And I mean, some of these guys are just really good. But the matchups they have this week... <laughs> Yes, Jamar Chase. Yes, Jamar Chase has been lighting it up this season. Everybody thought that he wasn't going to be able to catch a football because he was having some issues during the preseason. Well, guess what? He catching every damn thing, and he, he taking it to the house. 80-yard touchdowns. He's having a great rookie year. May even break um, Jefferson's record. Okay? Just Dope as hell. Um, I'm starting him with confidence. I start him every week because he's just really that good. He's been playing like a top five wide receiver in fantasy and just in the NFL period right now as a rookie. But when you see the Jets again on your schedule, when when you have players going up against the Jets, you get all excited and, and just get all happy and you fall in love with your fantasy players all over again. And I'm falling in love with Jamar Chase every week because of what he's doing, but more so because he's playing against the Jets. And I'm like, yes, so glad I got him on my side. So we all know the Jets defense has stunk it up this season. Even Nelson Aguilar looked really good last week versus the Jets. See what uh, the Patriots did. Over oh, 50 points. That's probably how much they scored combined in a few games this, this season. So um, Jamar Chase must start. Don't think twice about it. You you always start him because he's been playing good. He's matchup proof. But, when, again, when you see the Jets on the schedule, any of your – wide receivers who are the lead wide receivers on that team or your fantasy team pretty much, you start them with confidence. Cooper Cup and Robert Woods have a great matchup this week versus Houston. This is a favorable matchup. More so, Cooper Cup, I've been talking about Cooper Cup for the last few years. He's one of my faves. I always target him in drafts. He is obviously the best wide receiver and the go-to wide receiver for uh, Matthew Stafford on, on the Rams. And um, if you had to choose between which one of these guys you would start, you're going to say Cooper Cup because he's obviously the superior one who's receiving all of uh, the majority of the targets. They do want to get Woods involved, and they've been getting him involved, and there's no reason why both of these guys cannot eat versus the Houston Texans because their defense is just, woo, they've been stinking it up. And – Cooper Cup has been lighting it up and and Woods is starting to to perform well. So if you have both of these guys, if you have both of them on your team, you start them. Now I have Cup in one league and I have Woods in another and they both will kindly be in my starting lineup helping me out because I feel like this is a good game for them. This is a great game for them and you'll see and you'll be happy with the production that they give you. They're going to obviously meet and exceed the uh, their projections for uh, week eight. Tyree Kill, yes, it's kind of up and down, but he's still good. He's still great. Still top five, right? Yes. And he has a favorable matchup versus the Giants. I, I love Tyree Kill this week. He's not one of my favorite wide receivers, but he's one of my favorite wide receivers week week eight. If, if you have Tyree Kill and um, any of um, the Patriot uh, – if you have Tyree Kill or any of the Chiefs' top players like Mahomes and Kels, you're starting those guys with confidence because they're playing against a Giants defense that has been really bad all season, okay? Yes, they looked good against uh, the Panthers. It was the Pan it's the Panthers. They don't even have their best player on the field right now, and they haven't been playing good football since their best player got hurt. So – 
What are you going to do with Tyreek Hill? You're always starting Tyreek Hill, but I love him this week even more so because, one, you know they have been kind of stinking it up uh, the last few weeks. But, two, they're playing against a Giants secondary that's gone. Ooh, Lord, y'all, I'm going to be tuned in. I'm a big Giants fan. However, this ain't it. This is not going to be the good matchup for uh, their secondary. This is going to be a great, favorable matchup for Tyree Kill and Kels, more so for uh, those guys opposed to the Giants secondary. Secondary has been very inconsistent and vulnerable to the deep ball this, this season, and you may see Hill get one of those touchdowns, one of them long 50-yarders, and take it to the house. Um, so this week, I'm, I'm loving Tyree Kill because of the favorable matchup, okay? Another player I'm loving this week, and um, I'm just loving his game all season long, he's been consistent, is Justin Jefferson. Love that he's playing the Cowboys this week. I know y'all out here saying, well, Diggs is going to do this and this and that. Okay, well, Justin Jefferson is, is very talented. Stud wide receiver. Right now he has that rookie record, which Chase may break. But nonetheless, I expect... Jefferson to produce, even though the uh, Diggs has all these interceptions, the the Cowboys are still giving up a, a lot of yardage, which is all Jefferson really needs. He's gonna have a good game and he's gonna score a touchdown. So it is what it is. Obviously, did you not see the the Patriots game? Diggs took it to the house and then he gave one back up to the house. So and we're talking about Justin Jefferson here. So I'm looking forward to seeing that matchup. It's going to be a good one. No, 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 no. It's going to be a great one. But I feel like this is a good game for Jefferson based on the fact that even though the Cowboys have played really good on defense this season, they still give up a lot of yardage, which is, is good for us because when we are looking at games, we're looking at games from a fantasy standpoint, okay? So if Jefferson was to get over 100 yards in a touchdown or two, I'm, I'm, that's great production for me. Even if he got 80 in the touchdown, that's great production for us in fantasy. So it's expected and it's going, it's going to happen. All right. But again, I want to see this matchup just because of the hype for Diggs and everything he's done so far this season and also playing against a really good Pro Bowl caliber wide receiver in Jefferson. And let's talk about two. I receives I love on Denver this week. Cortland Sutton and Jerry Judy. So, yes, Cortland Sutton is probably a better play because he's not injured and you don't know if Jerry Judy is going to go. Expect him to go, but you wait and see if they are going to play him. They're playing against Washington football uh, team. That secondary is really bad. I mean, whoo, it's stanky. That defense has uh, – played really bad this season. They have not lived up to the expectations. Thought they would be a top five, maybe top eight defense. Um they they out they down there in the 20s. They they have been really bad. Now the front eight is is solid, but the back end is not good. And you see Matt Ryan have a good game against them. You're seeing some quarterbacks play really well against them. And so I expect since the secondary is really bad and vulnerable, Cortland Sutton should definitely have a good game. And if Jerry Judy plays from injury and, oh, they may put him on a snap percentage, I'll throw him in there as a flex play and get a uh, wide receiver two uh, fantasy points and value out of him because I, that's just how good he is. And he was playing well in the game up until he got hurt. And I honestly feel like he's the most talented wide receiver on that team, even though Cortland Sutton is really good, okay? Cortland Sutton is, is, is dope as hell. However, I just feel like Judy is, is the, the best wide receiver on that team, and you'll start to see that as he returns back from that injury and going forward. And, again, for this week, they are playing against a really bad secondary. So – you're playing against a bad secondary. You have two really good young wide receivers. You go on and play both of them. Um, Denver is going to 
play much better football because you're getting one of your top offensive weapons back and they need to start opening things up and having Jerry Judy is going to open things up much more. Tim Patrick is good, but Jerry Judy is much better. And you're going to see that this week and you just add in another weapon. So expect Sutton and Judy to both have really good games and I'm loving them this week. Judy, I think I got him in every dynasty league, which is great because he is really good. This is going to be a good game for them. And we're starting them with confidence. So what are you going to do? You're going to start Jerry Judy with confidence this week, regardless if he's just returning from injury. Say he was going to be on a snap count. So just play him. He's he's going to get involved. They're not going to have him on that field just doing nothing. He's going to get out there. He's going to be involved, and you are going to be pleased with his production, and you've probably been missing out on that production that you was expecting from him this season, so expect to get back to that, especially with a great matchup returning from injury. All right, y'all, these are some players. More specifically, these are wide receivers I love this week in fantasy football make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to stay connected to the channel and help the channel grow also leave comments on this video whatever questions you may have on fantasy football just know that i will answer all of those questions and just know that i'm starting some of these guys with confidence too because like i said these are players i love based on matchups very good matchups obviously if nelson aguilar can go off in a football game against the Jets, you obviously know that Jamar Chase is going to do the damn thing. So again, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also check out the Score Fantasy Basketball Podcast. If you love playing fantasy basketball and you're looking for some great advice on fantasy basketball, check out the Score Fantasy Basketball Podcast right here on YouTube. Or if you prefer to listen to it on one of the major podcasting platforms. It is available on those sites as well. All right, y'all. Y'all have a great day.